What's going on YouTube is Donnie B all day and I have another bug out bag must have. Now I'm, I've been putting together this whole video series. And when I say putting together, I did part one so far. So now I'm doing part two. All right. So bug out bag to me isn't what a lot of, a lot of people think, you know, bug out bag. Like if you piss somebody off or the FBI is coming after you or a mafia has come after you, you got to get a bag together so you can go to your boy's house and hide out for a couple days and, and have a handgun. And that's not a bug out bag. A bug out bag is something bad just happened to the world and you need to get out. If there's a, a spreading fire, if there's a tornado, a hurricane, it's just something bad. It, all of a sudden the heavens start raining fireballs, something bad, the zombie apocalypse. Um, if, if something like this goes down, you need to get away and you need to have enough things to survive on that to, to make up for, for things like a home, electricity, means of getting food. You know what I mean? You ha There's no supermarket. So what are you going to do without the supermarket? What are you going to do without a house? What are you going to with, do without the ability to, to use a lighter? There's things in life that you need to know how to do just in case. And who knows? You don't might not need to, but it's always good to, you know? So today... I'm bringing you one of my favorite little items, um, and this is my pocket shot. This thing's awesome. Um, the pocket shot, I literally, I carry this in my pocket all the time. Um, I use it as like a self-defense tool because in a lot of places you can't either have a gun or shooting a gun is not a good idea because it's loud and uh, it might draw the wrong kind of attention. Or just carrying gun in the wrong places with some people out there who are so anti-gun. It's just going to be such a problem. So, if you need something, self-protection real quick, that's going to fire something that can shatter a skull. This is the thing right here on Bigfoot. It can shatter a Bigfoot skull. So, basically, it's got this little uh, this little cap. You take it off, it's already ready. I keep a ball in there 24-7. Whoop, I'm ready to go. But, in my bug out bag, this this is something that, that's a must stay. Uh, ammo is dirt cheap. It's always available. You can use rocks if you run out of ammo. A lot of people say put in a gun, but in a bug out bag, it has to be light enough to where you can bug out. You can get out on foot. If all of a sudden there's no cars, no, you're not carrying 700 rounds on nine millimeter. It's just not going to happen. And once you're out of your 700 rounds, what good is your gun for? Nothing. So something like this, which I can collect water in if I really needed to. I could stretch and fill with water. I can use it for its intention and things like that. And who knows if, you know, you meet a, a girl Bigfoot, you always got protection. So this guy right here, and, it, and it, it doesn't have to be the pocket shot. It could be any slingshot or wrist rocket, something light that's going to fit in a bag that can fire any kind of ammunition. I have on me, let's see what I have for ammo. I have a bunch of these guys right here, and I have um, ball bearings, things like that, different sizes, and that's a good thing is there's no wrong size. Any size will fit. These ones right here are half-inch diameter. Um, they're glass slingshot ammo by Daisy. Um, I keep them, I wanted to, well, I use these for this video because I thought they might be easier to see because they're white, you know what I mean? So if I fire one off, you might be able to catch it through the air. But um, this guy right here, I can hunt small game with it. I can defend myself with it. Believe me, if there's somebody doing something wrong or somebody's robbing a convenience store, I'm gonna come around the corner. I'm gonna pop one, one of these guys in the head. It's not a healthy day, I'm telling you that. Um, but definitely as a small game hunter, you need to get uh, you know, foul or um, just small game. If you're out there and you know, you're gonna get a raccoon even with one of these guys. Um, even if you could hit one in the head, give it a little dizziness concussion, then you come out with your blade and you finish them off. Um, this thing's good, but it will take out things like squirrels, um, any kind of bird. Uh, this will take out a wild turkey. As long as you hit it, it's going down. Um, I haven't had a lot of practice with it, and that's why I was out here and I decided to make the video because I just came out today to, to um, practice with it. I practiced with my uh, my slingshots, my wrist rockets, but I haven't practiced with this a lot. So, as far as bug out bag though, no better. Plus, it doesn't have to stay in my bag, it was right in my pocket. 
So if I have to bug out, boop, I could take it out, shove it in my pocket. Nobody even knows it's there. For some people, it would just look like if it was in my pocket, like one of those um, those chew tins, right? So this is awesome. Let's go and uh, let's go and use the old uh, pocket shot. That's what it's called. All right. So I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but those trees over there are about just about 50 yards. They're about 40 yards away. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a shot. And I want to see if I can send one over those trees. Now, with any luck, you'll be able to see one, this ball fly out of here. And I'm going to back up so hopefully you can get it coming through. But what I want to do is try to send it over those trees, which are very, very far away. That one, whoo, that's <laughs> actually pretty good. Um, I hit one of those trees over there. But what I did is I launched it a little too high, so I'm going to try to try to do is I want to go at less of an angle see if you can see it actually leave holy moly <laughs> all right so there's that big big tree right there the tall one I literally went right over that thing and I mean I didn't go over a little it cruised past that thing so this thing can easily I mean easily probably reach a hundred yards I just shot that thing from here to that tree is because it's behind the fence that that's definitely more than 50 yards to the tree and i absolutely cleared it i'm talking cleared it so um let's go see if we can't hit an actual target okay so i set up a target i've got this little pumpkin right here it's uh not a big big pumpkin so i don't know if i can hit it um but i'm gonna try i'm gonna go back 10 yards and we're gonna see if we can't hit this thing what i'd like to do is put you guys close to it but I gotta be careful because I don't want to miss and hit the camera. So let me uh, let me try and set. All right, so here I have it set up. I'm gonna go 10 yards back, which I think might be a little far since I'm not very good with this yet. I'm gonna try to hit it without hitting the steel and having it bounce back to you and uh, and smash the lens. But I'm gonna try to hit this little guy from 10 yards. Let's see what we can do. We got Roscoe and Bigsby running around, so I gotta be careful of them too. Holy moly! That was my first shot! Get out of here! I saw the ball bounce too. I don't know where it is. Oh, I found it. Alright, no damage to the ball, but I put a little hole in that pumpkin. I'm gonna try to shoot the same ball, same distance. Woohoo wee! That was pretty cool. <laughs> Tell me that won't take out a squirrel. Yo! All right. Check that out. You want proof that I hit it? <laughs> the ball is still there. Oh, man. It's in there good, too. That... That will hurt, man. Look at that. So, the uh, the pocket shot is a hell of a shot from the pocket. I gotta say, man, that's pretty freaking impressive. What did I do? Did I put it in my pocket. Imagine that. Pocket shot. I went right back in my pocket. All I did is I dropped the ball. I dropped the ball. I actually didn't drop the ball on that one. So, I pulled... And I shot, and what I was where I was aiming from was right here. So I was pulling like this, and aiming from the from the waist, pretty much. And uh, man, that was fan freaking tastic. So now you don't have to have a pocket shot, but any kind of slingshot, any kind of wrist rocket, any kind of something that will propel a hard object. And remember. Uh, a rock will do so if you don't have ammo you pick up a little stone any kind of smooth stone is gonna fly out of here quite nicely um, with no worries and the good thing is it doesn't have to be an exact size this is a half inch I have some bigger uh, bigger ball bearings and I have some smaller ball bearings that I fire out of this thing and uh, they all work perfect you can even change the sleeves you can get different kinds so you can actually get one that shoots it a lot faster than what this is going at um, these are just the ones that come with it, but they actually sell better ones. They even sell an attachment that
that for a handle so you can hold it like a regular slingshot um but i'll tell you what this right here is all i need because it fits so well in my pocket um this thing is is awesome guys it really it really sends a ball out and i'm talking far far i i put one that thing that last one i shot over the trees if that wasn't 70 to 80 yards and i don't know that thing i mean the the tree was 50 yards away and i went over the top so so i mean it, it does have some ability to hit some distance and it has ability to hit with power and the closer you are if i see a duck and i'm 10 yards away from that duck believe me if i can hit this at 10 yards this is smaller than a duck if i can hit this i can hit a duck i can hit a goose i can hit something delicious <laughs> you know so in a bug out bag you need something that's going to get the job done right away and for protection hell yeah i'm going to get around somebody's messing around you know it's not going to kill them and it might not even stop them but it's going to slow them down make them think or change their mind you know what i mean and when i say personal protection i don't mean last last defense but i'll tell you what something is better than nothing and this guy right here this will leave more than a headache i guarantee you that so bug out bag part two some kind of uh some kind of propellant propeller propel prop boop. anything to shoot some kind of little hard object is going to be exactly it for me it's the pocket shot the thing is awesome and the fact that i can carry water can't do that with a regular slingshot um that really helps out if i need to collect uh i don't know mussels or things like that little tiny something to eat some crickets or grasshoppers um for an emergency case i pick them up i put them in there i can screw back on the top i just shove them all in there it does have multiple uses and that right there all by itself is pretty awesome so right here put that in your bug out bag i'm donnie b all day and until next video